You know, let me look. It would be, what it'd be hilarious if they smelled it. Oh, I guarantee you somebody did. Yeah, somebody took like a little whiff just to make sure. How could you smell something that old, though? It probably didn't smell like anything. It probably just smelled like dirt. But they're, but it you probably so? it probably had a look to it, and they were like, "Hey, we need to like examine this." Or like, so that's when they took it under a microscope. And yeah, like, hey, it's yes, feces. Yeah, what the hell is it? That is one big pile of shit. You will remember to wash your hands before you eat anything. Oh, nice, love it. I feel like <laughs> I haven't heard that in a while. No, and you have. It's it hasn't been that long at it all. It hasn't. No, but I feel like it's been like weeks. Yeah, it's kind of funny, huh? Isn't it weird? I mean, to me, it feels like it just happened. But it doesn't feel like that to me. I don't know. I we think this week's just been long. Maybe that's what it is. I think I think that's what it was. <laughs> yeah, I think it's just been such a long it's week. It's been so horrible. <laughs> yeah, but um, welcome once again to welcome. another episode of. Itchy sweater. We are your humble servants. Humble. Sylvester and oh, oh, go ahead. Ren and Stimpy. There you go. That's nice. I like that one. Good old Ren and Stimpy. I thought about him the other day. I was like, man, that cartoon was pretty bad. It was not for children. It was definitely ahead of its time. Yeah, it was. It was pretty bad. It 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 was kind of um. It was one of those shows that was I think marketed improperly because a lot of people who were not supposed to be watching that were watching that and i think it might be why our generation's so screwed up i could think of a couple more things well, but that well might, i think that might be one of them <laughs> that might be one <laughs> damn ran a stampy yeah they screwed I didn't, up a whole i didn't watch it because i didn't understand it well, you weren't really supposed to. Exactly. Like, if we if we were to watch Ren and Snippy right now, there's a lot of things we would get I'd that we did be not funny get. As hell. Yeah, we'd probably go like, "Oh wow!" But like as a kid, you're just you just think this is just animated little cartoon characters that are just having fun. Did you ever, since we're on that subject, mm-hmm. did you ever hear the story about uh, or the ru- not rumor the freaking thing that people talk about? Uh, did you ever hear the theory about Rocco's modern life? Yes, I have actually. I about, can't remember how it goes, but about I do remember his job. It. Yes, yes, he, yes. He because he worked at that telephone place. Mm-hmm. Everybody thinks that he worked at a sex op. He was a sex operator. Yes, I did hear about that. And Rocco's modern life was also kind of on that border of like. I think it was also on the edge. Yeah, it was like it was just a little right, edgy, right on that because it was on Nickelodeon, wasn't it? <laughs> yes. Yeah. So that was kind of right there because it had a little bit of adult themes but it was still kind of more way more for kids than Ren and Stimpy because was it that one that had the devil on it no that's cow and chicken was it cow and chicken yeah cow and chicken was kind of weird too but <laughs> yeah, the, they were the, eating butts the de- <laughs> yeah and the devil that always had the butt out there like yeah and he, he, that's how he got around he would hop on his hop butt. on his butt yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh my gosh <laughs> Jesus. Little Talk. episode like cartoons like that always kind of like bring me back like ah real monsters Jeez. and just just oh my god those you know, throwbacks. You know which one was nuts? Wait, I mean, actually looking at it now, I watched it the other day. Mm-hmm. Courage the Cowardly Dog. Oh yeah, dude, that that was terrifying. It was so. If you look back at it now, I watched something about it the other day, and they were talking about how they that did ghost the same character. Thing. Remember that ghost character that was in the field? I and he, feel like I he do. talked like this. Yes. Yeah. But like looking at that stuff now, I'm like, why did we watch that? It, it was it hell? was just cartoons, man. And yeah, but it, it, if, if 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 it was animated, we were on it. Oh my gosh, it was just the weirdest shit now though. Or you know what's you know what else is weird? This is kind of bef- this was after our time, but I remember watching it on Boomerang. Remember Boomerang? It was a Cartoon Network, and it was like a bunch of old cartoons they used yes, to play. Yes, yes. Uh, and Gumby. I remember you used to watch Gumby, and I'm like, what is wrong with Gumby, this cartoon? I can think I can honestly say Gumby scared the hell out of me. Yeah, it was claymation. and Maybe I, that's what it is, is claymation. And it always freaked me out because just the way he moved and the way things worked, I was like, this, I don't know if I Him like this. Pokey? Yeah, uh, you know, okay. I think it's claymation. I do because uh, is it Wallace and Wallace Grimace? and Gromit scared the shit out of me too. Oh, I thought that was great, dude. I I did not like watching them. Maybe we should have some porridge. Porridge. I loved Wallace and Gromit. I had a whole movie. I could not when watch they went them. on adventures. 
I think I just like the English accent. I, I don't know what it was, <laughs> but they scared me. Yeah, I don't know. With the big eyes. It might, the, it might the big, be. The big it, smile. Yeah. <laughs> it, it, I, I don't like them. Why don't we have some cheese? <laughs> Hey, <laughs> hey. and I like that kind of got me into having like little uh, like clay figures and figurines that could bend and stuff like that. Really, I really liked Wallace and Gromit. Yeah, I think claymation scares the shit out of me. Yeah, but G- Gumby freaked me out though. It, it it doesn't make me very comfortable because Gumby was like living in purgatory. Yeah, you he, know what? He, he was never in an actual like determined space. No, <laughs> he was always in like some kind. Of it's about a weird limbo. Wasn't it, wasn't it like a, like a, a white area or something? It, it was it, it was gray. I remember it that's being, what made it worse yeah. because it would, it would just be like this plain gray. Then sometimes the colors would interchange and there would be shapes every now and then coming into frame three D shapes. What but it was f- always like this. He was like he was like in limbo. It was like where are you? Are you where where are you? I bet you there's a theory out there about that about show. Gumby. There's a theory about oh, all kind of stuff. God. Did you did you hear about that theory about Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles? About how Splinter gave them weapons that coincided with their personality? No, but I heard something else, and I thought I sent it to you, but... You did. The whole Daredevil Yes. Thing? Yes, yeah. that's what I... Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. There's one about, like... Uh, I'd have to look at, it, look at it later, but each weapon that Splinter gives the Turtles uh-huh. is supposed to teach them something about themselves. I've never heard about that. Yeah. Interesting. Like the only, uh, who has the stick? Donatello. Right. And he, what's his trait? He's really smart. The, he's a really smart one. Yeah. Now he has the only weapon that's not sharp. It's supposed to teach him creativity. Oh, okay. I was thinking not sharp, like not smart. Yeah. Yeah. It's it, it's it, it's it's a melee weapon. It's for beating. Yeah. Now he he like that's something that you have to become a little bit more aggressive with. Yeah. And that's something that he actually struggles with. It doesn't. He's just, the brains it, of the operation. Oh, he's not the one who's always whoa. like. Yeah. That's weird. Yeah. Oh my gosh. So it's to teach him how to be creative and actually be like. Sometimes you have to actually be violent to. We're gonna have to do some of these cartoon theories as a yeah as a an episode. Hmm. But let's get into our first topic. Well, nunchucks are they're they're a melee weapon too, but it's the the stick itself is very specific. Um but yeah, let's uh <laughs> let's 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 get into something here. We got we got some interesting topics, that's for sure. I, so, something that uh that I think is going to be very fun and kind of gross, but also fun. But also kind of gross again, but also fun. <laughs> No, I want to talk about I I want to, I want to talk about the fling uh, I just played before. Yeah, it kind of pisses me off. Mm-hmm. I'm not too happy about it. Yeah, especially learning about the light bulb that's been on over a century. Mm-hmm. Go ahead and tell me about it. Well, there is something called planned obsolescence, and what that is is. Let's say a company creates something like Apple creates an iPhone. Now, Apple could create that iPhone, and that iPhone could last for it could last for a lot longer than it does last. It could last for years and years and years. But every let's say two years, maybe three, iPhone comes out with another, or Apple comes out with another iPhone. Now the reason they come out with another phone is because obviously they want you to keep spending money with Apple. They want you to keep buying Apple products as well. Now what Apple will do, and they've been proven to do this is they will deliberately slow older phones down and not come up with updates to that operating system. So you have to upgrade, you have to buy the new phone. I've actually had that happen. Mm Mm-hmm. I had a, I want to say it was like an iPhone 3, like yeah. old, old, old phone. Yeah. I actually used it. Back in the day. Yeah. I think it was Kayla's first iPhone. She mm. gave it to me. Mm-hmm. And uh, when, uh, fuck, I want to say a year or two later, mm-hmm. I think they were on to like this 8, something like that. There was a period where they were like just really yeah. like just cranking them out, and 
sure enough, I ended up getting this. Uh, this is when we were still in California. This is when we were in uh, Modesto series era area. Um, Shout out Modesto. No, no, don't, no, don't do that. Don't, don't do that. <laughs> Not them. Um, but uh, I ended up getting a message that I didn't understand, and nothing was going through. So I remember taking it to AT and T. Mm-hmm. And they were like, "Oh, this means that you have to upgrade. They're they're not doing anything anymore. You seriously can't even use this phone, right?" I'm like, "Well, <laughs> what the fuck is the point of it? <laughs> this is a paperweight. Yeah, it literally was because like at the starting screen, you know how you turn the thing on, yeah, and it's just the Apple logo. Yep, it would go to a screen after that, and it would have this letter about uh, due to not being able to update you." Uh, <laughs> This and that is obsolete and blah, 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 blah. Your phone's blah. garbage. Like, what the fuck? Get a new one. <laughs> but there's, uh, we just watched this video about uh, another podcast, and they were saying that there's a light bulb that's been on since 1901, mm-hmm. and this group of elitists, I can't remember the name of their group, Got together, they were a light bulb, a uh, bunch of light bulbs. They called themselves the light gods or the controllers of light or something, something like that. Something like that. Yeah. It, it was some weird name, though. Light controllers. Uh, but they they all got together and they had a meeting and they said, Look, our light bulbs are lasting too long. We're not making enough money. Yep. We need to dumb them down. Mm-hmm. Well, then they would send them all to one central location after they were done. And if the light bulbs didn't hit like a certain number or something for like the wattage or something like that Mm -hmm. if it went over a certain number they got fined because they were too good yeah they were lasting too long and i i bet you phone companies everybody does this i I mean it's just all the elitists of all these you know manufacturers do this shit well it's planned obsolescence there's there's always there something Almost everything that you have, especially if it's electronic, is planned to fail. There are very few things that are not supposed to eventually be bad. Yeah. So you don't have to. So 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 you have to buy the next one. Like it, everything's gonna either slow down. It's gonna not work as fast as it was. It's gonna not operate as snappy as it used to be, or not do the same things it used to do. So you have to buy the upgrade. They do this with, uh, what's the thing? Um, they do it with cars. Yeah, they so do it with cars. I just realized that one of the things they said was that the instead of using metal, they're using plastic. Yeah. Instead of using sturdy nuts and bolts, they use faster, plastic fasteners. Mm-hmm. So you can see over the time how supposed to fail things quicker. are going. Exactly. They're supposed to fail. Mm-hmm. So it's like a... And I remember Apple was doing this thing, too. A lot of phone companies do this now. Not as bad as Apple. I'm not trying to pick on Apple fans. But what Apple, (laughs) yeah, what what they do, remember when they weren't including things in the box anymore? I do. I think it was just the chart. And I don't even think they put the wall piece in. I think it was just the cable. You would have to to buy individual pieces for the phone. I do remember that. Yeah, and then, and then they got rid of the headphone jack. Yep. So you had to buy the adapter into the port uh-huh. so you can listen to music. And 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 they got rid of the actual uh of the the regular jack mm-hmm. or the phone charger jack. Yeah, the regular phone charger. And they yeah. went to a different what was it, a USB C or something like yeah, that. Yeah, which or? all phones are kind of going to now. But uh yeah, like they 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 were deliberately leaving things out of the box. So when you did get your phone, you have to buy other pieces to it. So there was always there was always another thing you had to get. That's a, it's just insane. Like I get why they do it. It makes sense. Mm-hmm. But it's a such a screwed up thing to do, especially since that light bulb is out there. Yeah, and we know that hey, it can last. Yeah. We know they can make these things better and make them last longer, but they just don't because, hey, money. Oh, dude. <laughs> like I said, I get the money part. Mm-hmm. You got to make a profit. Makes sense. Okay, cool. Whatever. Yeah. But, but it has to be your expense. Exactly. Yeah. It's and, and hey. Bullshit. Sorry for you. You need a phone, don't you? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> la, 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 la. Supply and demand. <laughs> yes, sir. That's why me and Alex were talking about mattress uh, stores, how they got to be a front for the mob. 
because how many times do you buy a mattress throughout your Holy lifetime? Holy shit, you are, wow. <laughs> how is that building still standing? <laughs> Whoa. Ain't nobody buying a mattress more than maybe well, twice. <laughs> let's see, I, I've, I've gotten one, but I bought it through some guy's garage. Uh-huh. Shady garage sale. And he was like, I don't know how the dude did it, but he would list what he had in what sizes. Mm-hmm. You would go to his house, and he'd have them all lined up. Oh, that's that's cool. It he was, he, was, a, he like, was a little store. Dude, it was like, <laughs> so like they were they were sitting up, so real skinny, long ways. Yeah. And they'd be like, okay, uh, twin, uh, whatever the next one was, mm-hmm. or full size. Um Oh, uh, I, I don't know. Full size twin, whatever. However, go. Oh, you got queen then and then king. Queen, king, yeah. Cali king. Uh, Cali king's the thing. Cali king is. How the big thing. is that? It's fucking huge. Oh my god. I thought. I thought king was the biggest. No. There's <laughs> bigger. There's bigger than king. There's bigger than that. And there's bigger than Cali king. Yes. For who? I have no <laughs> idea. People that want to sleep with the whole family That's in the bed. Stupid. It'd be like the the equivalent of having uh, modern day Charlie and the Chocolate Factory family in the oh bed. Oh my god, dude! So a, a, a Cali King must be almost wall to wall my bedroom. My queen is in the middle of my room. That takes it, up. I mean, it doesn't take up half of my room, but it's... It would be a little bit of walking space. Oh, wow. That's yeah. insane. I've seen them, and they're fucking huge. Because they don't just get water. They get longer, too. Yes. So that's that's most of my... That's probably my almost my entire room. It'd probably be close. Wow. Yeah. That's crazy. Yeah. They, they, it's it's insane. But yeah, you're right. I think, I think I've bought two in my lifetime. Yeah. I've only bought one. Because I remember, and this happens with a, t- a ton of families. Like you, you almost inherit a yeah. old mattress. Yep. yep. So like that mattress, you're gonna have for years. And I had that mattress for years. I can't even. I can't even tell you how long I had that mattress. And then I was like, you know what? For for one, the it wasn't great. It had like a little dent in it. You know how like the springs give out and you get like a little. Of dip. course, of course. <laughs> if uh, it doesn't have that one like soft spot, or, yeah, or, like give out. But yeah, yeah it makes so sense. I was like, I got to, you know, upgrade or something like that. So I remember a couple like five years after I moved out because I was still had I still had that mattress. I was like, OK, I'm going to actually do something good for myself and give me like a good mattress because I want to know if I'm missing out on some sleep. I'm going to give me a nice, solid mattress. Yeah. And let's see if it if it if my sleep is better. And it's more comfortable. It's better. I like it more. It's a solid mattress. It's memory foam and all that good stuff. Mm. And it's firm. It's like how a, a good mattress should be. It's firm. Oh, of course. I sleep a little bit better. But that is the only time that I actually bought a mattress. That one time, and I still have it. I've had that mattress for uh, we two. It was uh, uh, what was it two years before? That's I moved? insane. So two, one, two, three. F- I've had that mattress for about four years. Yeah, yeah, I I definitely believe it's a front for the mob, and I think I, you're I supposed can, to buy one every it. six years. You know what? They have remember. ones. They have ones that are. Uh, it's called a purple. Yeah, purple mattress or something like that. That are supposed to those. be like a ten year thing. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. You're supposed to only get one like every ten years. Or okay, so is that is that the for the, that one? Oh, for that one. Okay, I think it's every. Because let's me look. That one, I, I maybe it's they guarantee it for life or something because they say that's the one that the astronauts use. Oh. Which I don't know how you sleep. You strap yourself down in in space. Yeah, you do actually. You put your seatbelt on. Yeah, you do actually. Uh, there is. I, I was. I That's got that Oculus. Be, yeah. Uh, and it takes you on the um the space station. Damn. The uh United States the International Space Station or whatever, and you get to see how astronauts sleep. It's like in this big pod. It's almost like a closet. So you open this pod up. They put you put yourself in. Now, technically, you're upside down, but with no gravity, your body, your like your mind can't register what upside down is. Yeah, it's really it's really interesting. What? Yeah, it's like interesting. So wow. you get in, you get strapped, you you get into the door, you get strapped, you close it, you get strapped in, you get that thing. You're on all you. secure. There's like a little light in there, so they have like little pictures hung up and stuff uh-huh. like that, and like a little workstation. So it's like this big it's like so it's almost like a walk-in closet but uh it has this door that you close you strap yourself in when you're ready to sleep and then that's how you sleep 
just like strapped in so you that, don't like float all oh, around. Oh, that's weird. <laughs> yeah. I don't know if I could do that. It's, uh, they, when, when you do, um, like when somebody gets hurt or if there's like a medical emergency, they put you on this gurney and they have to strap you down because they can't operate you while you're floating. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my arm, it got cut off. Come back down here. I can't fucking get down there. Right. It's like you're just <laughs> over floating. <laughs> Under normal conditions, mattresses should be replaced every six to eight years. Wow, that's crazy. This is a general guideline, not one size fits all solution. There are various factors that influence when you should replace your mattress, like bed bugs. I added that nah, one. But, um, nah, we like those. We eat them. <laughs> no, you burn the house down. Oh, you burn the house down. Uh, I'm sorry. <laughs> so I didn't eat them. <laughs> Like a little piece of rice. Yeah, but I, uh, yeah, I've only replaced my mattress one time, and the first one I had, I didn't even buy. I think we did ours, like we did the the guy's garage mm-hmm. thing, and then when we got out here, we were like, we're just gonna get a new one. Yeah, it's kind of funny how it's just like how, how how can a mattress like how many people are buying a mattress? There can't be that many people to where you're like, able to sustain business. I could see like college people just for, you know, like, oh, got to get into the new dorm and stuff like that. But yeah, well, no, like, are you usually have them there, though? Sometimes. Are you living off of like uh, payments? Like, like maybe pay, like that's installed how they're payments, left. but still that that's the one of the but only things that I somebody's going to pay that off in like a couple of like what, four months, five months, if depending that, on how much it is. If they buy like an eight hundred dollar mattress, somebody would be a little more. But I was gonna say they probably have like a, a twenty year plan. Yeah. Hey, you buy this thousand dollar mattress and you can pay it off for twenty. Years. <laughs> Is that really keeping the lights on though? <laughs> and you're able to pay employees. That's they wild be, to me. They can't be. Making it's gotta much. be. It's gotta be a, like a money laundering such the uh, system or something. Hey, like if that. it is good for them, I want in. Yeah, fantastic. Oh, shit. Let me let's just show me show me where I can be a drug mule. <laughs> Speaking of being a drug mule, I'm going to talk about this before you talk about the poop. <laughs> Which, what? The drug mule. I'm going to talk about the girl. Drug mule. Oh, <laughs> the girl? Yeah, I'm going to talk about that because this is this is funny. It's, well, it's not funny, but it's interesting the, because I remember we were talking about um, last meals. Are you talking about the goat? <laughs> Which one are you talking I'm about? I'm talking about the girl who could face death by firing squad. Oh, oh, okay. We're doing that first. Yeah. Okay. Uh, so there was this 19-year-old Brazilian woman who was traveling, and she is facing a possibility of a death sentence um, in bail more, uh, for, for <laughs> more than 6.5 pounds of cocaine was found in a luggage. Did you see the part, though, that said, I want to say it was, I have it in front of me, and I'm, uh, but I'm trying to remember, the mm-hmm. people that put it on her, they forced it on her and said that if she did it, they would pay for certain things for her? Yeah. I don't remember. You probably see what they are right there, but. Uh, Manu- Manuela Vitori- Vitoria de Aruo Farias was visiting the island to see uh, Buddha. <laughs> Buddhist temples in a bid to take a spiritual approach to her mother's illness after she recently suffered a stroke. Farias legal representation claims that she was tricked into carrying the drugs by a gang who promised to pay for her surf lessons That's and was, suggested yes. that she could pray for her mother's. Oh yeah. Oh, and suggested that she could pray for her mother's recovery <laughs> at the temples. <laughs> Hey, so you're going to these temples. We're gonna pay for your surf lessons, and while you're going there, I guess you can pray for your mother's illness at the temples. I guess if that's something you want to do. I love but how it's so. Random. Either way, take these drugs. The the hey, if you don't take these, we won't pay for your surf lessons. Yeah, she's like, where I'm going? There's not even a beach. Shut up, child. Yeah, you're gonna do what we tell you. Go see some Buddhist temples and pray for your mother. <laughs> she's like, the most random thing. Hey, what do you want us to pay for? Um, surf lessons. Surf lessons. Right. Really? You don't want us to pay like you know, college like, tuition or something yeah. like that? You want to pay for surf lessons? I love the beach. I love the beach. But it's in the middle of the jungle. And? Where's the water? But there's Buddhist temples. <laughs> Spiritual <laughs> enlightenment once she's on the cocaine? No, once, no, once she's done surfing. Oh, Before and after. Surfing. She can Ooh. reach nirvana. 
We'll talk about that too. But despite these claims, oh, that was good. Yeah, he liked that. That was good. I like that. <laughs> despite these claims, the prosecution in the case has demanded that the 19-year-old receive the maximum sentence. And if found guilty, Farias is likely to face the firing squad. This, and I'm thinking maybe this is because the U.S. is so, I would say, so lenient on drugs now. I feel like this is like a Brittany Griner situation. Yeah, because a lot it's of... It's very uh, similar. The other countries have very steep penalties for certain things. Yeah. But here's the thing. I think I think we are kind of spoiled in some ways by the drug by how drugs are in the US I but only that. in certain states. Yes. Because of course like marijuana a lot of other states have become a lot more lenient on marijuana. But some states are pretty hard on it, but but there's other but if you go to other countries it's like it makes some of the well, drug like, senses here look like child's well, play. Like, this Griner, one's facing the she, firing squad. Yeah, and like Brittany Griner, she she was facing like what a decade in a Russian in prison. In a Russian prison. Yeah. For like for like a cartridge, a CBD cartridge, yeah, or something like that. Yeah, not even a pound, nothing, and maybe a couple of grams. This girl's going to where was it? Brazil. She was going to Brazil, and she's gonna get fucking shot. No, she was leaving Brazil. She was going to uh, Qatar. Oh, yeah. Okay, she's, she's from she's Brazil. Going to Qatar. Yes, leaving and Brazil. She's going about to, Qatar. to go there and just get full of lead. mm Hmm. Like, and we talked about this, dude. The firing squad. We didn't think that that was still around. Yeah. But they're talking about using that shit still? That's insane. Yeah. Yep. <sighs> the firing squad. Can you imagine? No. Like, dudes in, like, all suited and booted in, like, a uniform or, like, just lined up. You won't see them, of course. I, I assume they still put the bag over your head. <laughs> And it's like, you're just waiting for them to give the signal. I watched a movie or a TV show. I can't remember what it was. I'd really have to think about it. But I think it was a TV show. And these guys, I can't remember what country, but these a bunch of guys end up going into. Oh, no. You know what? Mm -hmm. It was Narcos. Oh, okay. I started watching it, and in one of the beginning episodes, there's like one or two, uh, this dude who becomes like the rat or something like that, he ends up being in this firing squad moment. They like dig the trench behind him, and they tie him all up. Like they ha- tie their hands. Mm-hmm. And they fucking do 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 And some people, they would shoot again when they were on the ground to make sure they were dead. Yeah. So just seeing that, even though it was a show... I'm like that shit's ridiculous. Like, you could, you could be buried alive for one thing because they bury the bodies in the hole, mm-hmm. which I don't know why they didn't do that right away and just kill that guy. But, um, or you could be shot to death. I mean, it, it, either way, you're you're gonna die when you're in that situation. Oh, for sure. They're not putting you, you know, somewhere else. Like, oh, I I I I shot her and she fell. Okay. Let me uh let me just leave her here. No, you're gonna get covered up with dirt, mm-hmm. and your ass. They're gonna wait there for a couple minutes to see if you climb back out. Your ass is gonna die. Oh yeah, you're done. Yep, you're either getting suffocated, or you get a bullet. That's crazy, man. Just shoot me at that point. But honestly, honestly, I think, I I, I know people's will to live is very strong, but I've said this before. If it's down to like prison or death sentence like a quick death or whatever just kill me if i if i'm facing years in prison i don't think i want to survive those it well depends on how long if i'm going to prison let's say you give me a sentence of 10 years okay 10 years to me is like right on that line Ten years to me is way too long. That is, a it's going to be miserable. Time. Yes, I'm going to be depressed, and I'm probably going to hate my life almost to the point of where I would want to die. But I think I still could do ten years. Anything more than ten years, even eleven, you tack on that extra year to ten years, kill me. Exactly, take me out. And think about it being like a week, like it's been for us this week. 
Yeah. For oh, 10 years. Oh, it's going to be way longer. That's one week. Yeah. I got to find I got to find a way to yeah, spend my time. You've got I'm just going to be alone with my thoughts. Just sitting, watching the window. Oh, God. With the lights off, doing nothing. No. You get to go outside every now and then. <sighs> Food is awful. Oh, my gosh. Yeah, no, I'm People good. People who might want to kill you just because. I don't want to be a criminal. I'm good. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm good. Just, I'm, I can't. You, uh, you, you got to take me out, man. As much as I don't want to die at that point, I think you're right. Yeah. Because cause we all want to live. Dude, that's like Shawshank stuff. Yeah. How long was that dude in there? I can't remember. It was a long but It was time. a long time. Yeah. Think about those kind of guys. Mm-hmm. That's insane. Yep, no thank you. Oh, my family's waiting for me on the other side. No, motherfucker. They haven't talked to you in, in how many years? Mm-hmm. Nah, they ain't waiting for you. They moved on. Yeah. You're done. Yep. Crazy. And and I hope that everything works out for that young woman because oh, that's for sure. a screwed up situation to be like tricked into this and then that, you know, you might be facing a firing squad. A she's firing like, squad, what dude. She, what was that? She was 19? Something like that. She's still in her teens, I believe. Yeah, she has a whole freaking life to live. Yeah. And this situation, yeah, 19-year-old Brazilian, this situation could go really bad really quickly just because... It was just some, just some, it, some, really some BS. Yeah. yeah. I mean, she got into some shit. Yeah. <laughs> speaking of. Speaking of shit. <laughs> I, I, I like how proud of yourself you were. With oh, that well, I'm very happy with that. <laughs> uh, E-Bombs World <laughs> dropped a uh, article mm-hmm. that I thought, which it's funny because usually I get my stuff off of MSN, like on the page the news page yeah and it caters to what i look up a lot but i don't know why this came up here uh it's talking about a thousand a thousand year old dookie (laughs) (laughs) so it says during an archaeological dig of a plot of land in 1972 a massive incredibly well preserved turd (laughs) was discovered coming in on a whopping eight inches long Oh, wow. Two inches wide. It was dubbed the largest, old, oldest human fecal sample Two in existence. Two inches wide. Dude, can you imagine what he ate? But <laughs> I how love come out of I love how it's it's bolted down. Yeah, they bolted it. And it's got a it's on a little plaque underneath it's that says preserved dookie. human feces, a very rare find, a complete <laughs> human stool. <laughs> Examination <laughs> under the microscope shows it contains pollen grains and the remains of cereal bran <laughs> uh in also wait remains cereal bran it also contains the eggs of whipworm and mawworm mm-hmm. parasitic nematodes which live in lar- in the large intestines staggeringly an average inhabitant of Jorvik may have har- harbored between 600 and 2500 whipworms Worms cause stomach aches, diarrhea, and inflammation of the bowels. When the worms are numerous, uh, symptoms... Wait, no. This person yeah. was sick. When the worms are numerous, symptoms may stimulate or simulate those of the gastric and duodenal ulcers. Horribly adult worms can migrate from the intestine and then enter other organs where they can cause serious damage. Even moving into such places as the ear and the nose Ugh. of unfortunate sufferers. Basically, I, I so guess this guy just like cropped out it, his dude. It's, I mean, look his at little it. organs. <laughs> this, this, it honestly, I thought it was a bone. It's massive. It is. That is the one of the weirdest looking turds I've ever seen. For one, wow, look at that. I, you know, it would be great. What's that? Just a small little piece of corn right there. <laughs> This guy was eating just everything little, but corn. Just a little dot. That's so. I'm. That had to hurt. Two inches wide, dude. Think about for a serious note. Okay. Yeah. Think about your butthole. Yeah. I mean, it stretches, obviously, right? But two inches. Two inches, and that sucker was eight inches long. Well, the length is one thing, I but mean, but the width is a whole n- two, another a whole situation. two inches. That's. What yeah. is that? Uh, I'd say that's about an inch. So, yeah, that long. That's massive. It's a I mean, that's of a, a <laughs> that's like a, a a hearty sandwich. 
Yeah, that's like a thick dill pickle. Dude, that's... That's like one of those fat pickles you get in a jar. <laughs> oh, like one of those what are those things called? Hot Mama's pickles? The yeah. They come in the plastic. Plastic. Bla- <laughs> plastic. One of those thick pickles. Dude, that's... Imagine that, that I mean, coming out of you. Imagine the and relief. And it's eight inches. Imagine the relief. Oh, the relief would be wild. That was like giving... I think the relief was like the best part of all that. I bet it was... Ble- he or she was bleeding. Oh, Probably. Probably, especially if there were worms and shit in there. Yeah, bleeding anus. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking gross. As a visual for our listeners. <laughs> this what the episode's gonna be called bleeding anus. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah that's that's insane, and I'm very shocked that it wasn't just a like a. They didn't think that that was just a thing of mud. <laughs> they actually picked they this thing up. It and they like, were hey, like. This is- you know, let me look. It would be, what it'd be hilarious if they smelled it. Oh, I guarantee you somebody did. Yeah, somebody took like a little whiff just to make sure. How could you smell something that old, though? It probably didn't smell like anything. It probably just smelled like dirt. But they're, but it you probably so? it probably had a look to it. And they were like, hey, we need to like examine this. Or like, so that's when they took it under a microscope. They're yeah, like, hey, it's yes. feces. Yeah, what the hell is it? It's like Joe Dirt with the, the asteroid. Yeah. He's eating the, off of it. He's like, this is, this is the asteroid. No, that's uh, that's one of them poo things that they dropped from the, <laughs> the airplanes. Yeah. He's like, I ate off of that. <laughs> <laughs> Can you imagine that scene in uh, Caddyshack? Oh my god! With that thing, uh, yeah. Oh like my floating lord! In it. it wouldn't even float; it'd sink to the bottom. That, yeah. <laughs> dookie, yeah. dookie, 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 dookie. <laughs> Fucking gross. <laughs> that's wow. That's that's really funny. That. <laughs> yeah, yeah, definitely. But <laughs> I'm sorry, I keep thinking of it. But um, Which one, dookie, dookie. Yeah, that scene. Dookie, dookie. That scene was always funny to me. Uh, but I. There was there was something else that you sent to me that you sent another, to me another prehistoric find. Yeah, uh, bringing back images of Cthulhu. And and before you start, well, not, actually, you know what? Bring that up, and then I want I want to say something afterwards. Uh, I'm trying to find a good spot to start. I know you can find a good spot to start. I know you can. Who cares? Read the whole article. Tell people where they can find it. They can read along. <laughs> Educate these people. So, as of March 30th, we might have potentially found a giant Kraken lair mm-hmm. discovered with, I don't know what that is, bones. It, 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 itchy? Itchyosaur? Itchyosaur. There you go. Wait, we talked about this before. It, 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 ichthyosaur. I don't know what that no, is. Ichthyosaur. I don't know. Is have we, did it, we talk about this? We talked about Itchyosaur. When? Like, I think a couple of weeks ago. I think we talked about it. It was either with Alex or it was with somebody else. But we talked Son about of a, a bitch. I think we did. We talked about Ichiosaur. I'm almost positive. I might be wrong. Was it something but I feel in like the we water? Were. It was something in the water. It was something it? aquatic. Yeah, I think I remember that. Yep. Son of a bitch. So they are real. Anyways, uh, prehistoric giant squids may have been even more massive than modern descendants. Itchy sweater asaur. Itchy sweater asaurs were eaten. Uh, let's see. So, by the way, everything is smaller than what they used to be. Easy now, guy. It's average yeah. size, not small. I'm just okay. saying, like, it's average. Well, shut up. You know, it's average. Crocodiles used to be bigger. <sighs> okay, you're gonna irritate me. <laughs> when we gaze upon the colossal skeletons of dinosaurs and other prehistoric beasts, it's easy to understand there was once a world where everything was impossibly large. Mm-hmm. Sharks, crocodiles, snakes, and other species we know yep. seem minuscule compared to the fossilized evidence of their ancient origins. Uh, but what does that mean for the already alarming massive giant squid? Now, hold on a second. I got something to say about things that used to be big. Mm-hmm. Apparently, they weren't as big as we thought they were. And they're the size of chickens. You know Velociraptors. Know yep. Yeah. Why am I being lied to all my life? Well, because here here's the thing. I still <laughs> think something that small with a mouth like that would be fucking scary to have run at you. It's not. Uh, <laughs> a velociraptor you could fight off with a, a good pair of boots and a stick. I want to see a picture of a real one. A real velociraptor? A real velociraptor. What they looked like. Oh, uh, that's pretty easy. Yeah, you, you can. I, I can bring that up pretty quick. Okay. This is... um. 
these things were barely to my kneecap. When people say chickens, that's fairly the size that they were. They were kind of elongated. Um, <laughs> like Velociraptors pose no threat whatsoever. Now, what you do, um, what you, what would be scary is a, yeah, here's, here's a picture of a Velociraptor. Actually, and that's not even really correct. This is more correct. Look at that. Holy shit, it actually looks like a bird. Yeah, because that's wow. what it was. A lot of theropods, which is what a Velociraptor was, uh, oh, are shit. the ancestors of birds. Like the ancient ancestors Dude, awesome. of like modern day birds. There is also uh, crazy, theories that the T Rex or certain types of T Rex had oh, yeah, maybe not full feathers but like little hairs. Wow. Um. So yeah, there's a now a Utah Raptor was massive from Utah. I don't know. Well, there's different areas that they're from, but they're called the Utah Raptor. That's um, Utah. And a Utah Raptor was about the same size as what the Raptors in Jurassic Park were, and those were also feathered. Now you also have a Deinonychus. Which is what the Velociraptors in Jurassic Park were um, kind of based off of. Based off of, they weren't okay. actually based off of raptors; they were based off of Deinonychus. Okay, but with that being said, Deinonychus also probably had feathers. Interesting. So a lot, you know, a lot of theropods that were a little bit kind of mid-sized T. Rex level or a little smaller, they had feathers. I still feel like I'm being lied to, though. You were, because that's not what a Velociraptor looked like at all. That is what. Deinonychus looked like. <laughs> so Utah raptors are terrifying. Um, and a lot of other theropods are very, very scary. And I think even with feathers, a lot of them are horrifying. But Hollywood didn't think so. Yeah, and so they had to make them even bigger. Yeah, and we also, we also, d we had information like that back then, but there's some stuff we just did not know. So Jurassic Park actually did a really good job of what they had. But the oh, Velociraptors shit. were an absolute lie. <laughs> yeah, no, I believe it. Yeah. Um. So yeah, I I we found this thing and it's not playing now, and I'm trying to figure it out. There was a paleontologist, pale paleontologist, <laughs> paleontologist. Mm -hmm. So this is from Wild Times Pod. I'm assuming it's a podcast. Kraken. What if I told you that a respected paleontologist named Mark McMenamin and he has discovered a Kraken's lair? <laughs> Berlin Ichthyosaur Park in Nevada. It used to be ocean during the, the period where ichthyosaurs, which grew up to 40 feet long, was an arrangement of ichthyosaur bones that he says there's no way that it just randomly occurred this way. And the pattern the bones are laid out in are very similar to what we find in octopus middens. I think going back into the time of ichthyosaurs and the time of dinosaurs, there very well could have been some insane sea creatures like a kraken. Do you think? I absolutely believe it. Yeah, for sure. I uh, just and even I I don't think Hollywood helps. Oh well, yeah. But seeing what the kraken did on uh, Pirates, of the Caribbean. Pirates of the Caribbean two. Yeah. Uh, I believe that really happened. I believe there were creatures like that for sure. Um, I believe they tore shit up too. There was a, um, I think it was called Dinosuchus or Dinosuchus, something like that. It, it's it's basically a massive crocodile. Now this crocodile used to be like dinosaur eat, uh, like a dinosaur eater. This thing would grab large. Dinosaurs, like large theropods. I found it. Like large, um, basically like the size of a Utah raptor or, or a Dilophosaurus. Oh, they would grab these creatures and then drag them in the water. And these these crocodilians were massive. Okay, so uh, it lived in the North America during the late Cre Cretaceous period. Mm -hmm. Probably along the coast of the Western Interior Seaway. Uh, that it wasn't in its ecosystem. That wasn't also a dinosaur itself. The largest species of Dinosuchus was about as large as a Tyrannosaurus rex. Yep. And possessed an even stronger bite. Yep. Although the existence of the Dinosuchus is well known by standards of prehistoric 
crocodilians, most of the public still knows very little about it. This yeah. video seeks to rectify blah, 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 blah. I want to see that the, the fucking size of it. That's what I want to know. There well, we here we go. Tyrannosaurus Rex was absolutely... ...as to how large the Terracroc was. With the lack of a complete skeleton, this is not entirely clear. The skulls of the smaller species, Dinosuchus schwimmeri, are usually about a meter long. Its average body length is estimated Holy to shit. have been around yeah. 8 meters long, and its average weight to have been over 2 tons. Yep. Okay, hold on, hold on. 8 meters long is, let me, what is the math here? A meter stick is 3 yards? Or no, isn't that what it is? Oh no, it's a yard stick. It is so many, I don't know. I don't remember. I know one's a stick and it's like 3 feet or something like that. But... It's, third, it's, it's, it's 26 feet. And so 26 feet long, weighs over two tons, mm -hmm. and has a stronger bite than and that was the, one of the smaller ones. Tyrannosaurus rex. Yeah, and that was one of the smaller ones, which means uh, Dinosuchus, like an actual large Dinosuchus, was actually a, around 40 feet long, just length. So Lake Placid was on to something. Yeah, it was like, yeah. <laughs> well, think about think about us. The, the largest the largest crocodiles that we have in the world right now are saltwater crocodiles. Okay, which can reach over twenty feet long. In some cases, Damn. not always, but they, they they can reach well over fifteen feet. Holy and shit. these things are like really big. They're pretty quick, and they have insane bite force. Now, when it comes to terrestrial animals at that time. T-Rex had the most extreme, or one of the most extreme bite forces of any terrestrial animal. Okay. Like, their their bite force was, y you ever see that fight in Jurassic Park where, like, there's a big dinosaur fighting a T-Rex, and then the T-Rex bites its neck, and then the, but the, the dinosaur doesn't die? That's, that's completely false. If a T-Rex gets a hold of anything's neck, it's dead. It's cracking, it's cracking oh, its shit. neck. shit. Yeah, really? like, the, the T-Rex's bite force was skull crushing. It was. I believe that, dude. Yeah. That's, so, wow. Yeah. So it's that. That's like that's like instant death. But Dinosuchus had a very similar bite force. So if this thing is coming out of the water with the amount of speed and force that crocodiles and alligators can now, something that size shooting at a a a, a dinosaur or an animal of that time and getting it in its jaws, it's gone. That animal's dead. There's no escaping that. And you probably couldn't even see it because we know how good crocodiles and alligators hide in the water That's now. That's very so true. So chances are they were just at the watering hole having a drink, and this thing comes out of nowhere, and, and before you know it, you're gone. You're lunch. You know what that reminds me of is that uh, one of the worst movies probably made in quite some time. Um, I can't even think of the name right now, but The Rock was in it. It had the ape. Uh, it's based off a video game that I love. Uh, Rampage. Rampage. Yeah. That dinosaur in there, or not dinosaur, but the crocodile in there. Mm -hmm. That's what that reminds me of. And yeah. That's probably what it was. If, it's if fairly this similar. This is what we're thinking. It's fairly similar. That's insane. Think of just prehistoric animal, animals in general. Like an elephant based, like versus a woolly mammoth. Woolly mammoths were massive. They were bigger than elephants. Yeah. And elephants are fucking huge. Yeah, when we're when we're looking at the Cretaceous period and the Jurassic period, we're looking at animals that uh, the ancestors of animals today that were unbelievable sizes. Think of a pelican. Yeah. Like th think of a pelican versus a pterosaur. Now pelicans come from ter well, certain type of ter pterosaurs. Pterosaurs were like freaking um, two stories high. Think of a think th think of a pelican that is two stories high. Damn. With the power of flight. <laughs> and they can also walk uh, like a terrestrial ground. Their beaks are massive. Their beaks are like the, th the the length of my door. And this thing can uh, hunt you on the ground and also had power. Like, it, it, just it, like nightmare-inducing type of animals. Nah, fuck that shit. <laughs> and you know what that reminds this me of? This is why this stuff is, cr is great to me. I love this. You ever watch, uh, I want to say it was Kong versus Godzilla? King Kong versus Godzilla? Mm -hmm. You ever watch that? Yeah. And at the very end, I think it's that movie, 
you know what? No, it might have been Godzilla, King of Monsters. Mm-hmm. At the very end, all the monsters all around the world all showed up to Godzilla because he was in the chair. Right. All those monsters mm-hmm. remind me of this, what we're talking about, and it scares the shit out of me. Yeah. I, I Yeah, be glad they're not alive today. Uh, yeah. Or at least not in the form that they used to be. Uh, yeah. Because they're alive today. It's just not the same. Bro, if there's shit <laughs> like that that was walking around then, yeah. fuck that. Yep. I'm good. <laughs> I don't want to be around at that point. <laughs> There's a lot of animals that are around today that were just bigger and scarier. And we're we're just living with the ancestors. With the or the not the ancestors, but the uh products of what the ancestors brought. That's why pelicans they always try to like eat things and put things in their mouths because they think they're still the same size as they used to be. <laughs> they were they remember how life was. But um oh, and I wanted to talk about giant squid real quick. So in Japan, this is this is the funny thing about like Japan waters, Japanese we, waters. Yeah, we got to keep going because we didn't talk about that. Well, really we keep much. talking about. Yeah, we didn't, and we keep we keep discovering things, big things in Japanese oceans and Japanese seas. Like, remember the Japanese giant squid? We share the same fucking ocean with those people. Yeah, with those people. That sounds kind of okay. Hold on, kinda hold on. I, I know what you meant. I know what you meant. <laughs> it, just, it, it, it just sounded very aggressive. We, well, <laughs> it was supposed to be aggressive, but it wasn't supposed to be that aggressive. <laughs> um, we share the same ocean, so right. that's. That's nuts. Yeah. And they're finding shit like that there. Absolutely. Imagine if that swam a little further this way. You ever see a sunfish? I like don't know. actual big sunfish? No, I've seen small ones. Ooh, sunfish get huge, man. Do they really? Sunfish get insanely big. I hate that we don't know more about our oceans. I, I, really, I really do. I'm I'm content being on land. Yeah. <laughs> oh, oh, fucking definitely. <laughs> But giant squids. Back in the Cretaceous period, though, in the Jurassic period, you was you you were worse. You were worse off on land than you are in water. You go you get it both ways. You think you safe on land? Nope. You think you safe in the water? Not imagine, at all. Imagine the bugs. You think you safe in the air? No. Yeah, the bugs are probably like freaking huge. They're probably the size of us. Yeah, probably. Oh fuck that. No. Being a little, being a little like think think of a grasshopper the size of me. Look at fucking mosquitoes, dude. Ooh. Just, ooh, you know what? I bet mosquitoes were bigger. Well, think about it. If they I were think our they'd size. they like you. Yeah. You would die. Yeah, that's not, they're not sucking your blood. They're sucking you. Yes. <laughs> that's it. Please suck me off. Yeah. <laughs> but, <laughs> but that, I mean, god damn. Giant squid, bro. Dude. We're still living with the remnants of, 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 of monsters. Like I said, the... I think the only movie that really, I mean, Kong, I guess, had the scene where the he's in the the bay and the giant squid comes up on him, you know. But mm-hmm. uh, I think the movie that did it right and depicted it pretty damn well was Pirates of the Caribbean when they called the Kraken up. And, I mean, yeah, I know it's just a movie, but to see something do what it did... And then when he goes underwater and sees how big it is, mm-hmm. I bet you that wasn't far off from what it actually was. Probably not. And the fact that they can swim, they can pull you down and swim down with you. Mm-hmm. Oh Lord! Yeah, you're no. going where you're going you, wherever that's going. You you get sucked down by that thing, you're done. Yeah, it yeah, grabs you. All right, we're done. Let's yep. go. I'm meeting my death. Time to meet the great depth, dude. The great darkness. And the fact that they can. Squids can basically, or squids and octopus, octopi, octopi. I think it's octopus, but I, can, I, say, uh, I, I like to say octopi. Let me just look at the plural of octopuses. They can, I might have been saying it wrong in my whole the life. The fact that they can, <laughs> they can squish themselves into things, mm-hmm. and they're basically they can go flat wherever they go. Think about how far down they can go with all that pressure. Yeah, that's insane. Yeah, and plural of octopus is octopuses. Not octopuses. I don't, I don't like that. Octopuses. I like octopi better. I know, but it's wrong. Well, uh, we can <laughs> agree to disagree, but I'm going to be wrong on this one called but, octopi. That's fine. So the octopi out yeah. there, <laughs> it's it's just very, it's very, I don't know, it's very weird to think about. It's very scary. Mm-hmm. I don't want to go into the ocean anymore. Yeah. I'm good. Um, After going to Cabo, big fella. That, that was the last time I'm going to the ocean. That's all you needed? No more. I remember the clear waters of Bahamas, like those fish that were coming around. Those fish were social. They were like coming up and like nipping at you. 
it wasn't it wasn't it didn't hurt fucking you know they didn't have like feet land. but they were like coming up like swimming next to you grazing up against you like nipping at you yeah. it was i was like wow these i don't i don't i don't i hope i'm glad these are not bigger i'm glad these are not like you know think about those small fish yeah and think of like a really big catfish that you saw on TV or something. Oh, I remember seeing like See a guy would... like pulling up this massive catfish that was almost oh, as long as he was. Yeah. Catfish can get huge. Yeah. And they're not nice either. They get no. some of them got teeth. There is I actually saw a video about this. There's a fish it looks like it's got the mouth of a donkey. Mm. Oh, it's I know which one you're talking about. Fuck. Yeah, I know which one you're talking about. And like it scares a, the shit out of me. It's yeah, got a mean overbite. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah. Disgusting. I know exactly which one you're talking about. I can't remember the name but of it, but I'm the water yeah. just. Yep. See, this is why I go in the break room Oof. and I turn on Animal Planet, and I'm, I turn on Nat Geo, dude. This stuff dude. is fascinating, dude. <laughs> it, it doesn't, but they don't play the good stuff though. Not they always. Play critter fixtures. Well, not them. not. Yes, they, they, they're, they're, they're not as great as they used to be. But this is why I check because I, we I could be watching the, all these great animals that we have on planet Earth yeah. right now, or we could be watching cops. I mean, cops <laughs> is pretty entertaining. I'm I love the saying. Hey, the prostitute busts are the best. For <laughs> the guys that are like, that's not mine. All right, yeah, yeah. and it's clearly theirs. Come on, guys, it's on you. It's on your person. But <laughs> I want to. I want to. I wish they had a show that was like. Animal Planet After Dark, and it would show you the <laughs> screwed up things. Yeah, not like. Yeah, that's kind of Animal Planet you know, After Dark. Not like I that. Like, uh, no, I don't want that. I don't yeah. want that shit. <laughs> I want the messed up, like the shit that can scare you. Mm-hmm. Whoa, I'm telling you, dude. Like, just go look up like scientifically accurate theropods, and like look at some of the beasts that used to roam the earth. With feathers, some of them had feathers, feathers, and some of them were like hairy. Some T Rex had like like prickly Ew, hairs on it. What the hell? Yeah, they were like fuzzy. They, they weren't even because <laughs> because there were some animals like T Rex that were actually too big to have feathers. Because they're thinking that T Rex was too big to even have feathers, but they're saying that there were filaments and like little hairs on T Rex that it may have had. I know because um, the possibility that it was like kind of hairy. No shit. Yeah, not like full body, but like on the top near like the neck area and like the like I'm the thinking back. Like a cousin hit, a cousin it. Harry. No, not like not like that. <laughs> it just it just had like some nice little hairs on it. Damn. Yeah. Think of a hairy T Rex. That's mm-hmm. insane. And sauropods, dude, walking skyscrapers, long necks. Those are sauropods. Okay. Yeah. Can you imagine the force of that thing? When it swings his head like a giraffe does? Yeah, right? and it can it, it use its tail as like a whip. That thing hits you, you're exploding. I think if they whip their tails at that big, if they like, whoosh, that would be like ear piercing, your eardrums are immediately Most shot. likely, yeah. They're yeah. saying that if, if T-Rex could vocalize, it'd probably be so loud and deep that it, you would go deaf. Really? Yeah, because the T-Rex was, ma- wait, was such a big animal. Vocalize like... Like if it made sounds and like roared or like vocalized... The sound might be so deep and loud because of its size that it would actually deafen our ears. So the movies are all wrong, probably. Well, we don't know what a lot of these dinosaurs sound like. True. We do know that some of them had the same type of vocal cords or vocalization. Um, what's it called? Like uh, um, vocal chambers that okay. birds have. Okay. At least a lot of theropods do. So there's a possibility that they could vocalize because they have those same chambers that birds have, but we don't know what they sound like. That's interesting. Yeah, that's it. Yeah. The prehistoric world is pretty freaking interesting, man. Mm-hmm. I, I'm. But if the T Rex did make the same sound as it did in Jurassic Park, they would be deaf. There's no way something that big <laughs> would be that loud that you're still being able to hear. No, <laughs> I can imagine it. Rock. Right, you're just you're what? not you're not hearing after that, huh? You know how how you know how much force that would be coming at your freaking eardrums. Well, look how big they were. <laughs> yeah, I mean, shit, you're going deaf, look at, dude. Look at how big, <clears throat> and this is getting back, this is getting back into the ones that are in the ocean. Yeah, look at the I I don't know if it was the Lost World. It was it was the Chris Pratt one. Oh, Jurassic World, the first Chris Pratt one. Jurassic where at World, the yeah. end. The thing's hanging on, and then that thing comes up out of the water. Oh, yeah, the Mosasaurus. What the actual F? And the Mosasaurus was real. It was that big? It wasn't that big, but oh, it was. It was. It, that was a real animal. 
Could you imagine? Yeah. Look how big that one was. Yeah. If if things were that big, fuck living back then. I'm Cra- good. Crazy thing that Jurassic Park does is they'll shrink animals that were really big and they'll make animals that weren't that big really big. Like the Mosasaurus was not that big. It looked, that came out of the water. It, it, it looked great, insane. but it wasn't that big. And then Dilophosaurus, you remember the thing that had like the frill and it shot venom? Oh, with like the first movie? Yeah. Yeah. That was like 30 feet long. You're fucking kidding me. Yeah, they were not like little animals. Did it actually animal, do like the, little birds. the acid? Now, it did, it, now, they have looked at the teeth of Dilophosaurus and they were not hollow and they were not made for spinning venom. It did not spit venom. So that was just so completely that made black up. Shit was just made up. Yeah, and it also probably didn't oh, have man. a frill because it already had those the those um crest on top of its nose. Really? And most most of the time when an animal has a display piece, it doesn't have a second display display piece, especially if it's the apex predator. So you know how lions have a mane? That's like their display piece. That's all they need. Interesting, because it, it serves a double. It serves a, all types of function. It serves like, oh, you're a healthy lion. You can mate. It also serves as protection, and it also makes you makes a lion look really big to other um, male lions. It's like I shouldn't mess with you. Oh, fuck so yeah. Dilophosaurus had those big crests on its snout. That's all it really needed. It was the apex predator. It doesn't need another display piece. That's so the, the frill wasn't there. That's crazy. That those <laughs> things were. You said thirty feet tall. 30 feet long, Very and they're long. And a lot taller. Like, the Lophosaurus was massive. They weren't these little things where Dennis was going, hey, stick stupid. No, they were huge. <laughs> <laughs> Damn, Hollywood is doing us wrong. Yeah. But, like, I, I can talk about reptiles and birds and dinosaurs all, all day, but... but Anyway, <laughs> this has been a very information. This was a, a very, very information driven episode. Driven, yes. Yeah. I hope I hope all of you learned something. And if you didn't, that's fine. <laughs> I, you know what? I, I think I'm just I think I'm still stuck on the fact that the firing squad's being used still. Yep. In certain I'll countries. never want to go into the ocean. Don't do it. And how the hell do you shit an actual brick? <laughs> I have no idea. It's fossilized poo. I can't believe it. Which is hard. Which is really hard to fossilize. It's, yeah, it's hard. Yeah, you know hard it is to find a dinosaur egg because so, some of them are so soft. He fossilized his own poo. I don't know, man. Unbelievable. But anyway, <laughs> remember to like, share, subscribe, rate, follow, all that good stuff. Remember to uh, remember to subscribe and um and like and comment on our YouTube as well. Give us some ideas. Get those uh get those likes up. Get the get that algorithm giving us showing us some love. And uh, yeah, podcast. E podcast. Podcast. Podcast.